Here are five tips to help you enjoy playing the secret world. First of all, get a second weapon as soon as you can. The game gives you one weapon right at the early stages of the game, and it's tempting to think that you should build up your skills with that one before starting a second one. In fact, your character is going to be far more powerful if he or she has two weapons. So get a second weapon, buy it from a vendor as soon as you can. The second tip is this, make hotbars for your potions and other consumables. The game doesn't appear to have any hotbars for you to place potions in, but you can make them very easily. Open up your inventory, that probably means pressing the I key, and then click the little plus at the top here, a little plus sign, opens up a new bag, and then you can drag your items to this new bag, and you press the uh, padlock button on the top left of the new bag that you've created. Press the padlock, now you close your inventory by pressing the I button again, that new bag that you've created stays on the screen because you padlocked it and in fact that becomes a consumable hot bar. You can place consumables in there and now you can use the consumables. By the way you can reformat it, you can change the size, you can make it tall and thin, you can make it uh, long and uh, wide, you can make it large, you can make it small, place it any way you like on the screen, you can make the hot bar however you want it to be. The third tip is to look for abilities that work well together. You open up your ability wheel by pressing the N key. You'll probably do this a lot during the game. The great thing about the secret world is that there are no classes or levels. You just choose the abilities that you want to learn. Now, the different abilities have different effects. Some of them do more damage than others or do more healing. And it's obviously tempting to think that the ones with the highest numbers must be the best abilities. But the trick in this game is to find abilities that work well together. So, for example, you might find an ability that hinders an opponent that slows them down or snares them, you may find a second ability that does extra damage to an opponent which is hindered. The obvious thing to do is to use them both together, simple as that. The fourth tip is to learn about crafting. Crafting will give you items which are slightly better than the items you usually get from killing monsters or from doing quests, and it's different to in other MMOs. You don't need to learn a skill to do crafting, there's no grinding up a skill. If you have the items that you need, then you can make more or less any item in the game. I'll just show you one here. This is a tool, and uh, here are some bits of metal. And this is all I do, I don't need to learn a skill. I don't need to do any grinding, I just need to get the materials. And to get the materials, you don't need to go flower picking, you don't need to go mining, you don't need to grind up any gathering skills. You get the materials simply by killing monsters, doing quests, and breaking down the items that you don't need into their component parts, simple as that. So here's my toolkit, here's my bits of metal, I've made them into the shape of a gun, or it looks a little bit like a gun. Now I press the assemble button, and here I get some pistols. The final tip is to just do one quest at a time. It's not really a tip because you can't go wrong with this, you'll find this is how the game works. But the thing is that when people who are used to playing other MMOs, World of Warcraft, discover how things work in the secret world, they may think they're doing something wrong, or they may think that there's something wrong with the game. You don't go to a village where you pick up five quests from five different people and then go off and do those quests, and then come back and get some more. You tend to do one quest at a time, that quest will lead you all over the map, it'll have a lot of stages, it'll take you quite a long time, and when it's all over you'll find that it's led you to a new place where there's a new person giving you a new quest. So that's how the game works, if you find that happening don't think you're doing something wrong, this isn't meant to be like World of Warcraft.